I am so excited. I actually, oh, I hope it doesn't rain because then I have to bring my dogs in. I am so excited. I took the day off of work to watch this show and I think it dropped, I don't know for sure, like I haven't been on social media because people like to ruin things and when I say ruin things, like I don't really mind spoilers, but the day of, like before everybody gets off of work, that's wrong. My tummy hurt all day yesterday because I was so excited. And do you like my sweatshirt? I made it. I sell it. It's been a while since I've done a reaction video only because Andor is amazing. It's just so high stress for me. I have to watch it by myself. I'll probably I'll probably do a reaction series to that because it deserves it. And um, that Tales of the Jedi, it's just a completely different monster. Like how lucky are we? It is a great time to be a Star Wars fan. A fan, I am living the dream right now about to start this series. Um, so I didn't say it already, but hi, my name is Billy Goo. Welcome to my channel and I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to be watching Tales of the Jedi. So exciting. I took off of work because I wanted to watch it with you guys. This is so important. This is so important to my life. Um, and if you're watching this video, it's probably just as equally important to you. We get to see Ahsoka again. We get to see Dooku before his fall. We get to see young Qui-Gon. Anakin? Obi-Wan? Padme? I don't know. So I'm going to be doing this marathon style. So I'm going to link inside the description box below the timestamps for each new episode, just in case you have a very specific one that you want to see. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, no roll, no quote. Her mom. Village elder, what, what culture do you think inspired? the Tegruta people, like where are they, where do you think they're pulling from? And I don't think it's just one, I think it's multiple. Mm, little dots. Ahsoka. Her little jacket. Are you sure she is ready? Nakil, it is custom. In old days. Old ways for the old. Not you, Bhavdi. Not yet. Don't make fun. You'll insult the spirits. The trees. Ancestors. All right, then. I meant no offense. With an Indian accent? Mom has an Indian accent? Good hunting, Bhavdi. My little Soka. <laughs> I'm gonna cry already. It's not even sad. It's happy. Hunter gatherer. I know Tegrudas are a lot of the times nomadic. We have the elders, the ancestors. Pav team. Has it been more than a year already? It has, Kantika. Tis a year. Little popcorns. I always sell droids as space dogs, but it's nice to see that they have like little creatures of their own. Beautiful. But the music is very Eastern. I'm just talking. Everywhere there is life. Value it. Honor it. Ooh. She got him. Hmm. You must face death, Ahsoka. Do not fear it. Yes, I think so too. She's a chunky little baby. 
I shall carry you and the Kaibuk. Oi. He wants her, but he doesn't want to hurt her. Oh, maybe he does want to hurt her. He wants to eat her, like a little chicken nugget. Oh. She has to go. Gantika, how could this be? Jedi. Jedi. Ahsoka is Jedi. Like they'll still lose their daughter, you know? I don't need much. I don't need much. Ooh, that tickles me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so emotional. Okay. What I got from that was that I know that there's different types of Tegruta, obviously, on different worlds. I know that in the Clone Wars, that you learn that they're nomadic sometimes, like they can be, tend to be nomadic people. Um, I definitely, and don't stop watching this video because I'm saying it, like leave me a comment if you think that I'm wrong, but I definitely know or think, I definitely believe that Ahsoka is POC coded. And because I'm half black, I'm a black girl, I want her to be black. And that doesn't have to mean necessarily African American or even African, her features don't have to be specifically from a certain place. Um, and I think that's one of the beauties that I see in Ahsoka's character is that it's very nondescript where she's from, who she is, because she is an alien. The actress who plays her in real life is an Afro-Latina. So take that as you will. Um, it looks like the next three episodes are going to be about Qui-Gon and Count Dooku. So we'll do that. I'm going to, I'm going to skip around. I'm going to do one, five, and six, and then I'm going to do, I mean, they did it like this for a reason. Let's just keep going. Let's go, let's go as it is. No, I'm going to do one, five, and six. This is what I was waiting for. Coruscant, the temple, looks like Anakin running, yeah there he is, <laughs> ooh, why are they all there? You're right on time, oh really? I thought it was late, that's what I meant, <laughs> she's a fast girl, I really wouldn't know. <laughs> Step up a Lava and Kanan, well, Caleb Dune. These are the new training events designed to simulate battle droids. Her little crop top. Yeah, there he is. Very acrobatic, flexible. Uh oh. Why is he like that? What's wrong with him? She's so pretty. Thanks for coming, Master. Well, I was in the area. Any thoughts? 
You don't want to know. There it's it is. It's a lousy test. But it's what every Jedi does. Exactly. Look, you want a real test? Name it. Okay, I'll make you an actual test. And then we'll see what you really learned. Ew, he's grumpy. Right on time. I thought I was late. That's what I mean. Oh, Obi-Wan teaches him well. <laughs> I miss Captain him. Marks and the boys have agreed to help with the test. It's our privilege, Commando. Let's get started. Head off to the center. This is a Make young sure commander. Set to stun. Droids are predictable. I want you to be prepared for anything. You need to remain calm. Think. Feel the intention of the trooper who will fire first. You should be able to sense the moment before they even pull the trigger. Ready. Oi. Don't worry, don't worry. She'll wake up. She'll wake up. That's it. Come on. You'll get used to it. Wake up. <sighs> How long was I out? An hour. An hour? Yeah. Jesse really tagged you. Sorry, Commander. Come on. Let's do it again. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go again. I like how they just leave her on the floor. I don't know how much more of this she can take. Uh, she'll be fine. Look, I know this is tough, but I want it to be difficult. This is about life and death. And as your master, I'm responsible for you. The best way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. If you can hold off Rex and the boys, you'll be ready for anything on the battlefield. Well, anything with a blaster, at least. Got it, girl. Not bad. It took us five minutes to knock you out that time. Ooh. Begin. So this is just her practicing at a different time. Yeah, different place. Hey, there it is. Oh yeah, different outfit. This is her older. My heart is beating so fast right now. It's just absolutely devastating. Okay, on to the next. Like, how poetic is it that Order 66 happened and her master is perpetuating the violence against the Jedi, right? They're the enemy. He's turned. And his teachings are what saved her. Anakin, not Darth Vader, Anakin before the fall was a great master, brother, husband. And he really gave Ahsoka the tools that she needed in order to survive. But she needs his son. And I guarantee, like, the lessons that he taught her, she's able to give to his family. And there's not a doubt in my mind, and maybe like one doubt, but I'm 99% sure that if she met Luke, she met Leia. 100%. 99%. And I think that's beautiful that, you know, 
He spent so much time with her and taught her everything she knows with her talent, right? She's not just a product of his. She's her own person, her own Togruta. But the fact that his teachings could be taught to another generation, especially to his offspring, I think that's just really... I'm really excited to see her series. And this is not about Ahsoka series right now, but I'm just saying that'd be great. And I'm going to watch episode six. I'm not ready for it to be over. <laughs> nothing you could have done for either of them. Why risk it? She was my friend. There's a patrol coming. You must leave. Where is your ship? The river. This way. Oh. Here. If you need anything, you can contact me with this. I'm tired of fighting. Nope. You there. Still, we have a duty, don't we? An obligation to uphold when we're able. We'll have to escort you back to the procession, Senator. I understand. And if you should ever need anything, please contact me. That's how she becomes full grown. I read the book. Okay. Rex. I know what I'm doing. Brother and sister. Okay, that's different. Hey, droid. Finish up. You can't leave it like that. I'm hungry. Hmm. Ashla, come sit with us. Ashla. Don't forget, we have to take the harvest over to Monhella tomorrow. That path can be dangerous. Is your brother coming along? No, but we'll be fine, won't we? Master Jedi, you shouldn't say such things. Girl, you should have kept that to yourself. You should have let her get smushed. Dead? And who might you be? Who do you think she is? Let them go. She's the Jedi! Stop it! See? I told you they'd be back! You're supposed to be dead. He knows exactly who she is. I love the bell bottoms. trick. Oh, sh that was too easy. I was beginning to think you lost this. 
you sure you're ready to get back into the fight? I will take it. And only because I read the Ahsoka book and I wasn't very impressed with the story. Did I think the story was better than that little bitty episode? Yeah. Not the Padme part, not the Naboo part, but the rest of it. Oh, seeing Padme there. But I am going to change my shirt out of Lil Soka and I'm going to put on another one uh, because now we're going to watch Qui-Gon, Dooku, and maybe little baby Obi-Wan? We'll see. Okay, one second. What did I like? I liked seeing my old friends again. I liked knowing that Ahsoka survived Order 66, not by some miracle, but because she had trained for it. And Anakin made sure that she trained for it. I liked seeing Bail kind of convince her, because Ahsoka was still very young, convince her that if you're able to make a change, make a difference, do good, that you, despite what we tell ourselves, have an obligation to see that through. I liked seeing Anakin kind of mimic Obi-Wan, but kind of like in a serious way, like knowing, okay, like, Obi-Wan, I am listening to you, and I am taking what you tell me to heart, and I'm using your lessons to teach my own Padawan. I liked seeing a glimpse of the relationship between Qui-Gon and Dooku. The relationship between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, like I said, had a lot of friction in between it because their personalities were so different. As opposed to Qui-Gon and Dooku, their personalities were very different, but they melded together instantly. I liked seeing Yaddle. I liked seeing Mace, like no matter how powerful he is, he's really hindered and really stuck like glued to the teachings of the council and to the rules of the council. And he wasn't able to learn the lesson that Dooku learned that the Jedi are failing the universe because they're tied so intrinsically to the Republic and to that corrupt Senate. That doesn't mean that the Jedi are bad guys. That just means that the Jedi could be seen as perpetuating the harm that that corrupt Senate is dealing to the galaxy, right? Still keepers of the peace, um, but there's a tinge to it. And a way to get rid of that tinge is to completely separate yourself from just Coruscant. Move the temple. There's no reason. Anyways, that's a different video. What I didn't like was the retconning of just little things, you know, master and apprentice. Oh, I hope to meet Obi-Wan one day. Like, inside the book, you did meet him. Or Ahsoka's story. They completely changed that. Um, like I said, I didn't really care for that book or that story. But they took something big and they gave us something very small. I really liked seeing Dooku after Qui-Gon died. And I really liked seeing Ahsoka's training sequence and how it brought her all the way to after the Siege of Mandalore. It'd be great if you could like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I think if you love Star Wars as much as I do, I think we'll have a lot of fun together. I'm going to start my and or reaction videos so we can watch that together too. Maybe that'll come next week. I'm still working on my Introduction to Thrawn series. If you haven't seen that yet, I've linked it um, in the description box below. There's a link to that video playlist. I usually do Star Wars content on Wednesdays. Um, but yeah, my name is Billy Goo. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you're here.